LiDAR technology is doing so much more than just giving you autofocus on cinema lenses. For example, well, this guy. This is the real C Galloa 3D LiDAR camera. Now the Galloa 3D LiDAR camera. Let's have a micro four third sensor with 134 megapixels. Now you can take 2D images, but one of the things that you can use on this guy is take 3D tours of your location, especially if you're location scouting or if you're working in real estate. Now if you're someone that's working on big productions and big locations, you and if you're looking to do 3D tours of any location, you get about a 25 meter radius in order for you to create 3D tours. So that way, if you have to show somebody a location, that might not be able to go on the scout with you, it makes that process a lot easier. Once you've used your camera to move around your location to get the necessary photos, what you can do is you can go to the Real C console editor. That way, not only can you see your 3D tour, but you could also get a couple of add-ons as well. Not only can you view your 3D tour on your phone, but you can also go to the editor as well, where you can get panoramic files, raw files, point cloud files, models, a schematic floor plan, and even a spatial video with varying aspect ratios. That way, if you want to show something, and depending on what, that way there are no limits where you can share things like 3D tours, your location scouts on bigger productions with bigger locations, and it makes that process a lot easier. And if you're worried about a high resolution camera eating a battery life, you're actually going to be able to get eight hours of battery life on a single charge. That way, if you have a full day of location scouting, you're going to be able to get all the locations without your camera dying on you, which might hinder the process of actually getting your work done.